Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. So guys, we have completed our Python series from basic to advanced level. So if you have not check out those videos, you can check out those videos. Everything are available in my channel in the videos section. So as I was announcing you all earlier that I am going to start with the MongoDB playlist. So this will be the video one of our MongoDB playlist. So let's not waste our time. So today's agenda will be in this video that we are going to see what is MongoDB and we are going to discuss about some features about MongoDB. Then we are going to see the installation process of MongoDB. So let's not waste our time. Let's start with our topic now. So guys, firstly, what is MongoDB? MongoDB is nothing but a NoSQL database. So if you have performed task in MySQL, you might have noticed there that to create a table or else to create a database, you have to write a query. SQL is nothing but a query language. The name itself represents structure query language. That is nothing but SQL. So but in MongoDB, it is completely different. Uh, I'll explain you all. MongoDB is nothing but a command based language. The explanation and everything we'll be seeing further when we are going to execute each and everything so now let me show you all mongodb documentation firstly because mongodb is completely based on documentation only and their documentation is very good you can easily understand that is the main advantage of using mongodb documentation so you can see here if i click this get started with mongodb server if you click on this you can see here the documentation is always user friendly you can start using everything even you can use mongodb virtually or else you can even use it online also see here for each and everything there is a syntax and a command you can directly copy from here and you can directly paste on your shell or else on your particular program i'll explain you all that in detail don't worry now let us see the advantages of MongoDB. Firstly, it is a flexible document scheme. So you can see here already that for each and everything there is a documentation. So to insert data, if you click here, you can see here to insert a particular data. You can see here. Okay, I forgot to explain you all an important thing. MongoDB mainly accepts only the data in JSON format or else in BSON format. It cannot accept CSV format and even Excel format. To accept those, you have to convert those data into JSON and then you have to import to MongoDB. So this is the main important feature you have to remember. Okay, MongoDB only accepts JSON and BSON. So guys, now let us see the advantages of using MongoDB. So the first main advantage will be that it is a having a flexible documentation. By seeing this only you can understand that here you can easily insert data by just seeing this syntax. So if you have watched my Python playlist in that you might have heard about dictionaries, right? I have executed uh, code related to dictionaries. So nothing but the same format is available here also. You can see here dictionary symbol and inside this, this is a key pair and value pair. So you are getting my point. The same way MongoDB even accepts the dictionaries. So the second example would be that it supports the code native access. You can connect to MongoDB server with any language, either with Python, JavaScript, ReactJS, anything. It can connect with any languages and let's go for it and it's a user friendly one the third main advantage is it's a user friendly one you can easily track the data and it is a user friendly ui and high performance speed the speed of uh, performing the mongodb is very high it can insert the data very fast and even it can you can even import the data very fast and the main important thing is it's a simple installation process there is no complex installation and the final step would be that it's a cost effective. You can easily track your cost. It will only charge to you when you are using the server, when the server is running or if the cluster is not running. And if you want to pause the cluster, you can even pause the cluster and uh, it will be very reasonable cost. So guys, these are the main advantages of using MongoDB. Now let us move to the installation process. 
So guys, now let us see the installation process. Normally MongoDB provides you both cloud feature and as well as you can even execute the MongoDB commands in your local system also. But the cloud feature will be the stable one and even I would recommend you to use the cloud feature. But now in this particular video, we will install it locally and we will perform the MongoDB commands at locally. Then at further when we, uh, we are done with that, we will check out the online one also. We will perform even in cloud. So for that, firstly, we need to download Mongo shell, MongoDB shell. So just search for MongoDB shell and you will get your download option. First link, just click on this. And another important thing, once you are done with this, you can see here it is version 1.6.1 .1 and platforms, uh, it, you can select your required platform, whether it is Debian, based Ubuntu or else Linux, whichever OS is yours you can select based on that and for Windows user I don't recommend this particular one because here you can see it is saying the zip file when you download zip file and then extract it it will not run properly instead of this you have to install MSA packages for that in this just in the platform click on this and scroll completely to the end and here you can see Windows 64 bit 8.1 plus MSA package just click on this and it will by default select the MSI package. Now download this. And let us download it to downloads only. So now this is getting executed. This is done. And MongoDB even have some other applications also which you should explore. This is MongoDB Compass. I have actually downloaded this I guess. Just let me check it out. See you can see here I have this MongoDB Compass. It is nothing but a GUI based application where you can directly connect your cloud in your local also. I think you did not get it. Just if you copy the cloud URL and paste that particular URL here and click on connect, you can work with it on your this particular application also easily. You don't need to wait for the particular application or else you don't need to search for that application in your browser only and you have to work in that particular application. So now this is downloaded and even it has many other applications like MongoDB Atlas. Atlas you have even at cloud. I'll just show you that later. Now let us install this particular Mongo shell. Just I have opening out. Now it is showing me to click on next. I want to install it. Next. Install. So now this is getting installed. And it is done. Now it got installed. Done. You are done with this particular installation of Mongo shell. Now the next task will be for us is to open this out. So we have successfully installed it. And now just uh, search for your command prompt. You can either directly search for command prompt and open it or you can just press the shortcut key Windows plus R and just type here CMD and enter. So here you can see this is just my normal command prompt. But here when I search for MongoD, it is just showing all the databases available in my particular this system. Let me tell you all previously when you search for MongoD or else MongoDB, it used to activate your shell, but that particular command is deprecated now. Now you have to search for Mongo SH. SH is nothing but shell. Now if you search for this, it will activate your shell. So you can see here it is activated. Now if I search for show DB and enter okay this database it's showing an invalid argument what was that so okay I was just trying to execute the <laughs> SQL command now let us just search for DB and enter so it is showing my current DB you are getting my point and even let me explain you all another main thing MongoDB is actually a full-fledged JavaScript interpreter. It is nothing but JavaScript interpreter capable of running JavaScript program to illustrate this and let us perform some basic operation for this. I'll just show you the basic operation. Now I'm at this particular test database, right? Now X is equals to I'll give 200. I'll press enter. So it's showing me 200. Now if I just perform X divided by 5 and enter you can see here it is performing the division also. 
so it can even perform the uh, javascript interpreter it is nothing but almost a javascript interpreter don't get confused with that so now you can even perform the crud operations with this particular mongo shell i'll explain you all that in the coming up lecture so guys that's all for today's video do like share and subscribe the channel and on the bell notifications thank you all